Hello everybody, glad to see you. Today we're going to talk about this positioning control. As we can see here at top left, we are going to have two independent positioning control. I'm going to show it by mouse. Or we are going to have one composite positioning control. As we have talked in previous session, we need to have location orientation and form lof or lol car as we have seen at the top corner or at the bottom corner here we can see we need to have this positioning orientation and form for positioning we can have different situation as it was discussed here let's say case number one two three four five six we can have different combination of positioning control. In this session, we are going to have this emphasis. When we are going to have two independent positioning control, what happened? As we can see here at top left, we are going to have this positioning control. At bottom, the TZ is 0 0.05 respect to A. A is this surface, as we can see, at bottom left. And at top, we are going to have a positioning control. TZ is 0 0.15 respect to ABC. Let's start for the second one when the TZ is 0 0.05. In this situation, we are going to have a cylinder with a diameter of 0 0.05 and it should be perpendicular to A, nothing more. As we can see, this cylinder with the color of, let's say, purple, this purple cylinder has a diameter of 0 0.05 and it should be perpendicular to A. But we are going to have another positioning control. We are going to have a cylinder with a diameter of 0 0.15 respect to ABC. It means it should be perpendicular to A and the distance respect to B is important. And also the location or distance respect to C is also important. That's why we are going to use this basic dimension respect to B and also respect to C, as we can see here, reference plane C. This small cylinder should be in that cylinder with a diameter of 0 0.15. It can be rotated, it can be any place, as we can see, it can be rotated, it can be go left and right. Yeah, because we are going to satisfy this condition, as we can see here. But what if, if we are going to have B here at the bottom, if we are going to have positioning control of the TZ of 0 0.05 respect to A and B, it means if we are going to have B here, B is, in, B is important, respect to b is important it is this distance it means this small cylinder can move left and right it cannot move up and down it cannot rotate it should move just these small cylinders can move just left and right the same as this topic as we have discussed in previous session it is exactly this one it can move left and right in this situation now we have talked about these two independent positioning control. Let's consider here this composite positioning control. They are not independent. Whenever we are going to have this composite positioning control in second line, in bottom line, we need to take care about orientation, nothing more. It should be perpendicular to A. We are going to have this cylinder with a diameter of 0 0.05, as we can see here. And respect to B, it means it cannot rotate. Respect to B, we are going to have this dimension. That's why we are going to have this basic dimension. And it can go left and right, up and down, but it cannot rotate. It is not the same as here. When we are going to have just A, it means it can be rotated, it can be anywhere in this big cylinder. But whenever we are going to have A and B two independent positioning control, it means it can go left and right, just left and right. But whenever we are going to have this one, 
we can see the orientation is important. The center of that pattern can move and it is perpendicular to A and it can go left and right, top and down. This B is here. B is means respect to respect to B, it cannot be rotated. The pattern cannot be rotated respect to B. We should take care about that. We are, we are, going, we are going to control the orientation respect to B. Just here we have A and B, it should be perpendicular to A. We have B here. It means it cannot be rotated respect to B. It can be anywhere in any direction, up and down, left and right, but it cannot be rotated respect to B. If we are going to satisfy this condition, it means the second line is going to satisfy. And for A, uh, for the top, it's the same as before. It is perpendicular to A, we are going to have a cylinder, and we are going to have this basic dimension respect to B, here 12 and 18, and we are going to have this basic dimensioning respect to C here, we have these numbers in the box. Here, here we are going to extend a little bit more positioning control whenever we are going to have modifier for reference plane, as we can see here. Let's see this example. At top left, we are going to have this reference plane B here. We are going to have this reference plane A here, perpendicular to B with zero MMC. It is dynamic TZ. And then we are going to have this positioning for these two holes with, let's say, modifier MMC 0.4. Now we have these two possibilities, what we are going to write here and here. In case A, if you are going to write A and B, A is this axis. It means we are going to have this adjustable gauge and we put it here and we should be parallel in that zoom for this axis. This axis respect to, let's say, A and B. A is this axis. That's why we're going to have this adjustable, let's say, gauge. But what if we are going to have B and A? In this situation, this adjustable gauge is in a manner we are going to have three points in contact for this surface, surface B, because B is the first datum reference. We have discussed this topic in previous section. Now we are going to have this situation. We are going to have modifier for reference A. A is this axis. We are going to have A, let's say, what is the maximum material condition for A? A is this axis. Whenever we are going to have the maximum diameter, we are going to have MMC for this reference. It is 10.2. In this situation, we are going to have, when it is A is at the beginning, we need to have three point contact for the B. It is for this. And this dimension for the pin, it is a hole with a diameter of 10.2 because we have modifier M here for A. A maximum condition for A situation is 10.2. That's why we are going to have this gauge. Now easily we can see whenever we are going to have modifier for reference plate or axis, it means we are going to have shift. However, Conceptually, we are going to increase the TZ tolerance zone, but in the reality, we are going to have this shift. As we can see, we are going to have this shift here. Uh, whenever we are going to compare with the real situation, it means we have this possibility to shift this, this component in this interval fix, let's say fixed gauge, as we can see here. For now, I would like to close this session. In coming session, again, I'm going, I'm going to talk about 
this situation, whenever we are going to have modifier for reference, for references, let's say reference plane or reference axis. Thank you for today. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.